Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, my dear students. How are you? Mirnita, Cynthia, Sandrita, Yamilet, Rosita, Veronica, Mireya. Everybody, welcome to another welcome day. Welcome to another day. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Tengo un feedback. Alguien no tiene audífonos. ¿Quién no tiene audífonos? A ver. <laughs> Well, welcome to another opportunity of learning. It is a big happiness for me to see you again. Para mí es una gran alegría verlos de nuevo. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? ¿Qué hicieron? Estudia. To study. Okay, you started. Very good. That was, that was good. What did you study? Ah, for your diploma, right? Yes. I remember that you told me about the diploma. It is yeah, a lot of work, oh my God. So you had the opportunity to study. What about the rest? ¿Qué tal los otros? ¿Qué hicieron? Uh -huh. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> That's fantastic <laughs> that you had the chance to sleep. That's beautiful. Okay, people, it is, it is, uh, well, I have a couple of announcements. Tengo un par de anuncios por ahí. Eh, gracias a todos los que trabajaron ya todas las, las partes de la plataforma. Hay unos que ya casi las terminan. Hay otros que ya hicieron un montón de la plataforma. Y pues, eh, Solo recordarles lo del um, comprobante. Lo enviaron todos. Creo que estábamos pendientes. Danielito. Es. Eh, Nelson, Efraín, Nubia. Ya Wendy, lo mandé, techo. Wendy y Jennifer Damisela. ¿Lo enviamos? Yo, yo ya, lo, ya, mandé, ya lo mandé. Ya me, me dieron de recibido. Ah, <risa> que me alegra. Me alegra un montón. <risa> es que esas cosas son muy importantes. También sus documentos ya de, no de inscripción. <risa> Recuerden que eh, como Insecor tiene, tiene como sus, sus, ¿cómo se llama? sus procesos que tienen que ser obviamente con mucho tiempo de anticipación y algunos de ustedes me pueden decir, eh, teacher, pero si vamos a la mitad todavía del curso, nos faltan dos semanas, ¿por qué me mandan ya los documentos? ¿Por qué? Porque imagínense el número de gente que tenemos inscrita en los cursos y tan pronto se reserve su inscripción, pues su cupo está obviamente eh, garantizado. Así que siempre procuren eh, mandar esos documentos rápido para que su inscripción esté lista para el siguiente módulo eh, pronto. Y ya tan pronto se inicia el módulo, usted ya está inscrito y ya no, no debe nada más. Ver. Así que eso es importante. Igual la plataforma, como se va avanzando antes que obviamente que la terminación del curso, eh, es importante que la vayamos trabajando. Recuerden que si tienen dudas, consultas o algo, eh, envíenmelos. Si de repente ve que no respondo rápido en el grupo, mándenmelo directamente a mí y pues me preguntan. Aunque siempre estamos pendientes de responderles a todos. Así que esos eran los anuncios que tenía para el día de hoy. Le, importante, los documentos de reinscripción, envíenlos. Tan pronto los reciba contéstelos y mándelos porque eso ya le asegura a usted su espacio en el próximo pues módulo y también cuando las reinscripciones se hacen rápido los módulos inician rápido eso también es bastante importante que este tan pronto tenemos los grupos llenos pues ya los grupos dan inicio casi siempre es como un espacio entre módulo y módulo pero la inscripción los documentos tienen que estar siempre a tiempo así que recordemos eso eh, su nombre como el DUI eso se los agradezco mucho, sus cámaras activas siempre y pues sus documentaciones rapidito, tan pronto se las soliciten ustedes envíenlas estén pendientes de su correo, revisen su correo, revisen su whatsapp eh, para estar ahí pendientes de todo y siempre pues 
que recibamos alguna comunicación de parte de Inglés Corporativo, eh, marquemos como recibido, le pueden dar un like a la publicación, ahora ya podemos, ya podemos reaccionar a los mensajes para que sepamos que todos estamos enterados de lo que está pasando. Ellos amablemente nos recuerdan todos los días que nos vamos a conectar y cuando usted reacciona es porque sí, es, yo estoy pendiente de todo y yo me conecto en la noche. Pues yo sé que no tengo problemas con sus asistencias, pero eh, casi siempre es, es recomendable. Yo siempre les recomiendo que, que contesten, que marquen ahí de, de recibido. Okay, so those were my announcements for the class. So in the previous class, we were talking about the parts of the house, right? We were talking about uh, there is and there are. We were using the different uh, places in the house, right? That's what we were working on. And today we are going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to practice a little bit. And then we're going to talk about professions and occupations, right? That's what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to review a little bit of professions, occupations, and a little bit of the parts of the house, right? So let me see. I am going to open and share my presentation with all of you. And we're going to start with this, okay? I have here this one. We were practicing about the parts of the house in the previous class, right? And here we are going to do a little review of this one. This was the last conversation we did. Esta fue la última conversación que hicimos el día jueves, right? About the house that he was lacking a couple of objects in his house. Le faltaban unos cuantos objetos en su casa. And he said that he had everything, but he didn't have chairs, right? And that he needed some things. And we were using there is and there are. And we were practicing the different forms, right? There is, uh, there isn't, right? And we were practicing about the things that we had in the different rooms, right? That I was asking you about the things that you have. I need you to give me one sentence about one or some things that you have in the different rooms. For example, I can say, and I will give you the example of what you are going to do. Ese es un ejemplo de lo que van a hacer ustedes. There is a TV in my living room. There is a refrigerator in my kitchen. There are uh, shampoos in my bedroom. There are pillows in my bedroom. What do you have in each of the rooms? You can give me examples. <laughs> ¿Qué hay en esos lugares de su casa? Can you give me objects that you have there? There are uh, sofas in the living room. There are sofas in the living room, right? There are a, uh, no, because after R, you don't say a uh, or n. There are sofas in the living room. There are sofas in the living room. Very good job. Another example. There, there is stop in the kitchen. There is a there stop. There is a stop in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. También, también, también. Okay. Vamos a ver, Sandrita. Tenemos audífonos, Sandrita, para evitar el feedback. No. Okay. Okay. Ajá, para que no le haga feedback el, el, el audio. Si no, ahí, ahí vamos, a, vamos a procurar no hablar al mismo tiempo. There is a stove in the kitchen. In the bathroom? There is a door in the bathroom. There is a door. And there is a door in the bathroom. Gracias a Dios. Imagínense si no hubiera... <laughs> There is a door. Hey. Hey. And in the bedroom, what do you have in the bedroom? There are photos in my bedroom. There are photos in my bedroom. Good. There are photos in my bedroom. There are photos in my bedroom. Good. Very good job. 
Okay, so this is an example, right? Tell me something that you don't have in the living room. Algo que no tengan en la sala. I don't have a lamp in my living room. Okay, very good. There isn't a lamp in the living room. There isn't a lamp in the living room. No tenemos lámpara, right? In the kitchen? There is, there are sofas in the kitchen. There aren't, very good. There aren't sofas in the kitchen, right? There aren't sofas in the kitchen. Very good. Ay, para cocinar, por favor. <laughs> there aren't sofas in the kitchen. In the bathroom? Tell me something that we don't have in the bathroom. There is a food in the bathroom. There is a food. There isn't food in the bathroom, right? There isn't food in the bathroom. No, right? There isn't food in the bathroom. I comida in el baño. And in the bathroom? There are in the... There are chairs. <laughs> there isn't... That's a good example. I will take it. There isn't a refrigerator. There isn't a refrigerator in the bathroom. A menos que esté en un hotel cinco estrellas. There isn't a refrigerator in the bedroom. We don't have a fridge. No hay refri. Right? There isn't a refrigerator in the bedroom. Good examples, my dear students. Very good job. So here, to continue with the practice, I have this little... Uh, Paragraph here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Let me see. Yes. We can move it in, in this way. We're going to answer yes or no, right? We're going to answer yes or no and check the picture, right? I need you to check the picture here. I need you to check the picture of the lady that we have right here, esta fotito la tenemos que revisar, because you are going to use it to answer the questions. And you say, does she have a television? Yes. Yes, she does, right? Yes, she does. She has a television. Yes, she does. The television is right here. Does she need curtains? No, she does Yes, Yes, she does. She does. She does. <laughs> does she need does she curtains? Need yes, she does. Yes. 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 No, no, no. No, no. no, no. no she no, does. Las tiene. So she doesn't. So you say, does she need? Ah, she necesita. Necesita cortina? No. 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 Okay. no. no. She doesn't. She doesn't. So it says, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Why? Because she has curtains, right? Ella tiene cortinas. Does she need a sofa? Yes. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, she, yes, she, does. she, does. she does. Yes, she does. Because she is on the floor, right? Ella yes. está sentada donde? En el suelo. Right? She's on the floor. On she the needs floor. a sofa. Does she have an armchair? Yes. 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 She does. Does she have an armchair? Tiene yes. Ah, good question. Let's go back here. I think I have it right here. Armchairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Armchairs. Tell me, does she have an armchair? Yes. No, no, no. no. No, she, no does. she does. She doesn't have an armchair, right? Does she have? What is the difference? Does she need? Necesita. Does she have? Tiene. Necesita. Tiene. Uh -huh. No, she doesn't. 
No, she doesn't, right? No, because she, she is on the floor. Does she have a rug? Does she have a rug? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does, right? What is a rug? Una alfombra, right? Um, does she have a rug? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <clears throat> and does she need pictures? No, she doesn't. 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 <laughs> she doesn't need pictures, right? No, she <laughs> doesn't. Oh, <laughs> she, she has many, right? Ella tiene un montón. She has many, right? No, sí. she does. What about the next one? Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me, do they have a lamp? Yes, yes they do. Yes. Yes. Do they have yes. a lamp? Yes. 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 No. Yes. Okay. Tienen lámpara? Yes. Say yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Right? Yes, they do. Do they need a table? Do they need a table? Yes. 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 Yes, they do. Right? Yes, they do need a table. Do they have chairs? Yes. They do. No. Oh, chairs? No, 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 they, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, no, they don't. ¿Qué es eso? No, they don't, right? No, they don't. Do they need a clock? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't because they have a clock already. Do they have a mirror? Do they have a mirror? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 they, no, they don't. don't. No, don't. they don't, right? No, they don't. Very good. And do they need curtains? Yes, yes they, they do. They, they do. Yes, yeah. they do because they don't have curtains, right? They don't have curtains here. Imagine si usted puede estar aquí parado, así como here outside. <laughs> outside the door <laughs> and there you go here <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> so you need curtains right es por eso que necesitamos mire necesitamos cortina for the privacy <laughs> and they don't have they don't have curtains good <clears throat> so what about the last one what about here I am going to show you this one and you are going to tell me what is the problem with the picture? What is the problem with the picture here? You say, ah, teacher, there is a, there is a stove in the living room, teacher. That's a problem. What is the problem there? There are sofas in the bathroom. There are sofas in the bathroom. Hey. <laughs> there is a bed in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are sofas yeah. in the bathroom. There is a bed in the kitchen. There is, there is a refrigerator in the bedroom. There is a refrigerator in the bathroom. in the kitchen. There is a clock in the kitchen. Uh, yes, there is a clock in the kitchen. What else? There is a table in the dining room. There is a table in the dining room, but there are no there are no chairs. Right? Yeah. There are no chairs in the dining room. And where are the chairs? We don't have chairs, right? And <clears throat> what is another problem? And I think, right, we have the sofa. Teacher, what do, you, what do you say? Disordering. <laughs> disorder, right? Disorder. Disorder. Okay. It's disorder. Uh, disorder in the bedroom. 
-hmm. And there is a big disorder in the bedroom, right? Oh my God. Okay. Hey, let me see. Uy, alguien está en el hospital. Está malito. Nelson. Oh, Nelson is. Nelson is in the hospital. Tengo a alguien que decía que no podía entrar y se sac lo sacaba de la reunión. Ya pudo entrar. A mí me está dando, no sé si, si es mi internet, suena como cortado, como robot, y de ahí me saca, entra otra vez, reinicia. Yeah, I think it's the internet connection. Uh -huh. Siempre que se le ponga así como muy lento, trate de no tener otras ventanas abiertas, por ejemplo, uh -huh. o de repente tener el, el WhatsApp o alguna otra aplicación que le coma muchos recursos, porque a veces sí, es la conexión. Exacto. Sí, sí, porque no me deja. Oh, bien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, we can, I can listen to all of you perfect. So the problem here is, for example, uh, here you have the stove in the living room, right? The clock in the kitchen, the dining room with no chairs, and a big disorder in the bedroom, right? Because the bed is in the kitchen. <laughs> you have a lot of different disorders there. Good, very good job, my dear students, on the practice of the parts of the house. That was really, really, really good. So we are going to jump a little bit into the next topic that I had ready for you today. Remember the agreements of the class, right? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Attend your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude and cooperate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, right? We did a review of the previous class. Terminamos nuestra review de la clase pasada. And we have here the topic of the day, professions and occupations. Tell me. What is your dream job? What is your dream profession that you say, ah, teacher, I would love to be what? What, what is your dream profession? And I will write it here. But if you like your profession, then you can say, so you say, I love my profession. I am a, and then you give me the name of your profession, right? What is your dream profession? Para expresar qué les gustaría ser o qué les gustaría haber sido, I would love to be, and I love my profession. I am a teacher. I love my profession. I am a teacher. Right? But I would love to be a veterinarian. Se lo juro. <laughs> I love my profession. I love being a teacher. Me encanta ser maestra. Pero me hubiera gustado ser veterinaria. I know. <laughs> okay. I, I love my profession. I am administración de empresas. Oh, I am. A, but, uh -huh. but I would love to be a médico. <laughs> Oh, a doctor. Okay. Yes. Yes. Nice, right? I am a business administrator, you say. I am a business administrator, right? Business administrator. Okay. That's that's the name of your profession. You are a business administrator. Good. And this one is optional, right? If you would love to be something different. What about the rest? Anyone else? ¿Qué le gustaría haber sido? ¿Qué le gustaría ser? I would I love am, to be. I, I love my profession. My pro, ¿Cómo es? My pro, profession. Profession. What is your profession? I am a. Economía. I am Econo an economist. Good. Econo I am an economist. Good. So, no cambiaría por otra profesión. Uh, uh, lo, le, lawyer, eh, a lawyer, good, a lawyer. Okay. Tal vez no, hacer <laughs> nada. <laughs> but you, you like it, right? You like it, the lawyer, good. Any other one? ¿Qué profesión le gustaría hacer? 
I would love to be. I would love to be bet. A bet. Yeah. And another one. <laughs> ya tenemos, ya ponemos clinics. I would love to be a veterinarian. Definitely. I would love to be a veterinarian. Anyone else? Alguien más? Allow to be nurse. A nurse. Hey, like my mother. And you know, I would love to be a veterinarian, but not a nurse or a doctor. No. I don't know why. Maybe because the animals cannot tell me like, ay, me duele, no me toque ahí. Maybe, <laughs> maybe because of that. But the human is like, ah, ah, ah. And then it's like, okay, <laughs> ya no lo toco. <laughs> a nurse. But good, good profession. Very admirable. What about the rest? A ver, Roberto Carlos, ¿qué le hubiera gustado hacer o qué le gustaría hacer? Um... I want to be a lawyer. A lawyer, okay. And what is your profession? My profession is chauffeur. Ah, you are a driver, right? You are a driver. driver. A driver. Good. A chauffeur. It's good as well. Nice, Robert. Do you like to drive? Pero le gusta andar manejando? Yes. Okay, so that's fantastic. When you when you enjoy it, that's pretty awesome. Let's see, Daniel. What about you? Danielito. Or uh-huh. What profession would you like to have? Mm. Chef. A chef. Hey, that's another one that I would like to have. A chef. A chef. Good. And what is your profession right now? ¿Cuál es su profesión ahorita? Eh, no sé si es profesión, pero agent de call center. Oh, a call center agent. Yeah, it is a profession nowadays, right? A call center agent in English or in Spanish. Danielito, in English or in Spanish? Eh, en el center, en español. Ah, in Spanish. But then you can be in a bilingual call center. That's good. Ya pronto en un bilingüe. <laughs> Very nice. So practice. You need to practice a lot, Daniel. Ver que más tiene que practicar. Sí. <laughs> good. What about you, Vilma? What profession would you like to have? ¿Qué profesión le hubiera gustado a Vilma? ¿O cuál le gusta? Vilma eh, Vindel? No, ah, Vilma, ok, Vilma Vindel and then Vilma Morejón. Ok, <ríe> siempre olvida que están las dos. <ríe> Vamos. Vamos, Vilmita Vindel. You're the first one. Ah, oh, ok. I would love to be a doctor. A doctor, good. A doctor, admirable. Another doctor. Vilma <ríe> Morejón. I love to be a safata teacher. A flight attendant. Me too. I would love to be a flight attendant. No me voy a morir sin lograr. A flight attendant. A flight attendant. There you go. I will, I will write it here. A flight attendant. And here you go. Flight attendant. Good. We will see them later on. What about, a? Uh, let me see, Ana y Leticia. Um, teacher. Ah. Yay! Salvando el gremio aquí. I love it. A teacher. Y estudios it? relaciones internacionales. You see? Perfect thing. That would be fantastic, right? Teacher Ana, I'm going to say. What about you, Cynthia? <laughs> Hola. No me oyes, no te oigo. Ahora sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am a student. I love to be doctor. 
A doctor, another doctor. <laughs> so nice. Three doctors. Van ganando. Reina Hel, what profession would you love to have? I would like to be a kindergarten. A kindergarten teacher. teacher. Oh, yes. With a little baby. Yes, that's I so, love babies. That's so cute. Van yes. ganando los teachers. Yeah, van ganando <laughs> los teachers, yeah. You see, but that's a huge responsibility, huh? Yeah. It's a huge responsibility, but it is better to teach little children than adults. Es más fácil enseñarle a los, a los chiquititos que a los jovencitos. Yeah. So it, it is better, right? It is better because they love everything that you do. Si van a cantar, les encanta cantar. Si van a bailar, les encanta bailar. It's beautiful. I know that's, that's our favorite too. <laughs> Yo no sé por qué no ponen eso en la U. Imagínense qué famoso fuera. Una siesta. <ríe> Mira la no, pero fui el teacher que ahorita el, el catedrático que me está dando el diplomado de la... Él nos da 10 minutos de descanso. <ríe> <ríe> y el teacher. Ah, bien galán, 10 minutos. <ríe> no, no. Well, well. Tienes que darnos 10 minutos, teacher. <ríe> pero son dos horas. Ah, ya ven, you see, that's the difference, that's the difference. So those are the different professions, right? The different professions and occupations. And before I go to the exercise, antes de pasar al ejercicio que vamos a hacer, so I am going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista y después hacemos el ejercicio, okay? Let me say, yes, I need the attendance because it is important. It's important to call the attendance. <clears throat> with all these professions. Tell me, uh, meanwhile, aprovechando el tiempo, one profession that you wouldn't like, una que no le gustaría. One that you say, I, I know, teacher. No, no, no. Medico forense. <laughs> a forense doctor, okay. A doctor. Doctor. <laughs> Doctors. Doctors. A lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> okay, no doctors, no lawyers, no forense doctors. <laughs> No, a police. A police of no, that's that's dangerous. I mean, it's it's a very dangerous uh, profession, definitely. I wouldn't like to be a firefighter. Un bombero, ahí no no podría. A firefighter, that's a, a very complicated profession. And let me see, ah, the doctor as well. I consider it very complicated. Okay, Ana Leticia. Present teacher. Ana Yamilet. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Thank you very much. Daniel Edgardo. Present. Daniel, thank you very much. Fatima Ivin. Mayerly Alejandra. Present. Mayerly Yamilet. Present. Mirna Yasmin. Present. Nelson Efraín. Oh, Nelson is the one that is on the doctor, right? Eh, Mireya Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Nubia Daisy. Hey, y Miss Nubia. ¿Qué pasó? Eh, Reina Yael. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Present. Rosa María. Present teacher. Roxana Yasmin. Present. Roxana Yamilet López. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Ubaldo Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth. Present. Vilma Concepción. Present teacher. Vilma Isabel. Present. Violeta Elizabeth. Thank you. Violeta, no, me, no le funcionó el audio, pero ya la vi. Present. <laughs> Wendy Lisette. Present. Jennifer Damisela. Present. Excellent job. Ok. Hey, Mrs. Nubia. ¿Dónde anda Miss Nubia? Se me ha perdido. ¿Hay alguien aquí no lo mencioné? No, yes. 
Okay, I'm missing Roxana Yamilet. And I am missing Mr. Waldo, Nubia Daisy, Mr. Nelson, that is on the hospital. And let me see. Okay. And I think I have it. And Fatima Ibin, that it's not connected. For the rest, yes. Well, let's continue here. Thank you very much, my dear students, for uh, answering the attendance. Let's continue with the presentation. <clears throat> so you told me that you don't want to be a lawyer, you don't want to be a doctor, you don't want to be a... Well, you want to be a teacher, that's beautiful. Here you have different professions, right? We have a cashier, we have a cook, we have a chef, we have a, a doctor, a flight attendant, right? We have a flight attendant here. We have a, a judge, a judge is un juez, right? A lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. The waiter is the man and the waitress is the girl, right? Es mesero, mesera, right? We have the different, uh, the difference there. So here in the first picture that I have here, what professions can you identify? What professions can you identify in the first picture? Nurse. The nurse. The doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Nurse. Receptionist. No, sé the, cómo se dice. no, it's good. The receptionist, right? The we nurse. have the nurse, the doctor, and the receptionist. Good. Very good job. What about on this one? Flight attendant. The pilot, singer. the pilot, singer. The, singer. the flight attendant, singer, the singer, uh, pianista, the musician, the music, musician. The, musician. The, lawyer. the lawyer, the lawyer, police. the judge, the po and the police judge. officer, right? Police. The, the lawyer, right? The lawyer, it's this one, right? The judge and the police officer this one is the singer the musician this is pilot 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 le decían a los marcadores vean voy en español me acuerdo cuando yo estaba en la escuela le decía pasame los pilots i don't know why but they are the markers ellos se llaman markers ese se llama pilot pilot Los pilots, no, allá solo los, los facel. This is called pilot. Here you have the letter I. Pilot, judge, lawyer, judge. right? Here you have the judge and the lawyer. What about this one? Here you have the chef, chef. Waiter. 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 waiter, and waitress. waitress. What about this one? Police. Cashier. Este, Cashier. Es, este es un security guard. Security. This security is a security guard. guard. This is not a police. This is a security guard, right? Security es un guard. guardia de seguridad. And a salesperson, right? Here you have a salesperson and Cashier. A, a cashier, right? You have a cashier. A cashier. 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 You have a cashier and a salesperson. Tienen un vendedor y la cajera, right? And this one is the security guard. This one is the security guard. Good. Let's practice the profession. Practice with me. Let's go here. Practice with me. Cashier. 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 Cook. 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 Chef. 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 Doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. 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 
Lawyer. Yes. Lawyer. 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 Musician. 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 Yeah. Nurse. 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 Pilot. 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 Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Security guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. 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 Very good job. Okay, let's go back here. So, based on the professions, we have different sentences that we can create in different places where people work. For example, here, we have people who work in a hospital. We have the doctor, we have the nurse. What else? What other type of people or what other type of professions do you have in the hospital? Resection. You can have a receptionist, right? <clears throat> what else? Receptionist. You can have a receptionist. Se security guard. A security guard, right? They are very famous. A security guard. What else? What else? What other professions can you find at the hospital? De la limpieza, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, the janitor. Ordenanza. The janitor es un ordenanza, right? Janitor. Todos los encargados de limpieza. Okay. Cook. You have a cook or a chef, cook. right? You have a chef or a cook. What else? Cashier. You have a cashier, right? And you also have a pharmacist. Pharmacist. The pharmacist. La de laboratorio. <laughs> okay. In that case, it is like, I think it's, um, I think it's a laboratorist. That's the name of that, a laboratorist. It's the one that it's, that it's in the, checking on the blood and everything, a laboratorist, okay? What types of professions can you find in a hotel? In a hotel. <clears throat> in a hotel, what type of professions can you find in the hotel? Receptionist. Chef. Okay. The receptionist, the receptionist chef, janitor, cashier, janitor, janitor, the janitor, the waiter, right? What uh, professions security can you guard. find? Uh, the security guard, right? In the hotel, for sure, you need a security guard. What professions can you find in a university? Uh -huh. In a university? A teacher, right? You can find a teacher. Security work. The security guard. <laughs> a receptionist. Janitor. A receptionist and a janitor. Okay. As you can see, there is one profession that is necessary in all the different places. The janitor. security guard and the janitor. I always say, and I always say, ¿Quién es el más importante en una empresa? No es el jefe. El janitor. <laughs> el, el janitor. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué el que anda la llave? <laughs> That's the most important profession. Así que nadie diga, ay, no, es que yo soy solo el de limpieza, yo soy solo el, el que abre, yo soy solo el de no sé qué. No, you need to check every single profession. And the most important is 
stay janitor. <laughs> the person with the keys, it's the most important, right? Hello, Nubia. Por esta Nubia. Tenía un gran rato queriéndose conectar. Pero aquí está ella con nosotros. So, <clears throat> different things that people do. We are going to move into another section of this one. And for this one, I am going to use a board. The teacher. The teacher does many different things. I see that. <laughs> Bienvenida, Nubi. So, the teacher works with students. The teacher checks homework. homework. The teacher prepares the class. The teacher speaks with students. What other things does the teacher do? ¿Qué otras cosas has el teacher? Explain the topic. Explains the topics, good. Uh -huh. Explain the topics. What is another thing that the teacher does in the class? Hace los cuadros de notas. <laughs> exactly like that. Right on the board. And the teacher. Right on the board. The teacher, <laughs> the teacher calls the attendance. Calls the attendance. The teacher. Ah, the teacher makes the test. The teacher. The grades, grades the tests. Aplaza and... los estudiantes. <laughs> <laughs> Another teacher, but not teacher Nati, right? Uh, I don't do it, right? Yo siempre les digo, yo nunca lo voy a dejar. Ustedes se van a dejar solitos. <laughs> the okay, okay. Makes the tests, grades the tests, and makes the PowerPoint. Why? In, in, and I will explain why. Yo les digo a los estudiantes, yo nunca los voy a aplazar. Ayuda a la, ayuda a la estudiante. I, I will do it. Okay. Yo les digo, yo nunca los voy a aplazar. Lo que va a pasar es que si usted no hace tareas, si usted no se conecta, si usted no avanza, si usted no revisa, usted se aplaza solito. So, era broma, no teacher, era broma. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, no. Uh, these are what well, some of the activities that the teacher does because the teacher does many other activities. But what about your profession? Think about your profession. Piensen en su profesión. What are the things that you do in your profession? So imagine that you are an economist. Imagine if you are a business administrator. Imagine if you are a driver, right? That you might say, no, I don't do much, right? Imagínense todo lo que tiene que hacer, por ejemplo, eh, Robert, that he is a driver. So he has to do many things at his work, right? No es solo de subirse al carro ya. Tiene que revisar el carro, revisar las llantas, poner gasolina, eh, manejar, tener cuidado. So you have a lot of different activities. <clears throat> I need you please to think about your profession. Piensen en su profesión. And if you say, teacher, but I am a housekeeper. Yo soy una ama de casa. I am a housekeeper. Or I am, um, okay, I am a housekeeper. You have the worst profession ever, right? Se tiene la profesión mayuca de todas. Because you are a little bit of everything. Y yes, nos dice yes, también housewife. You are a housewife, yes. Ese es un ama de casa. You have a housewife. You are a housewife. Yo, yo me, a mí me gusta el housekeeper porque puede ser ambos. Puede ser hombre o mujer. Que le toca quedarse en la casa. Eh, un amo de casa. No, es el que cuida la casa. El housekeeper. Because now, nowadays, ahora ya se generaliza porque hay muchos que trabajan en casa. Que trabajan desde la casa. Entonces, la esposa sale a trabajar, pero el esposo trabaja en casa. And it's like, it's a housekeeper as well, right? And when you work at home, it's double work, right? Trabajar en casa no es una ganga, es doble trabajo. 
Yes. <laughs> because you have to keep the house and keep the job and keep the kids and keep everything. So it's a lot of work, right? Exactly. But it's nice. It's beautiful. So sí. <laughs> think about different things that you do at your job. Piensen en su trabajo. Y denme alrededor de tres o cuatro actividades que hacen en su trabajo. Using third person. For example, here you say, imagine if you are a, a chef. And you say, ah, a chef keeps the kitchen clean. A chef keeps the kitchen clean. A, a chef a, cooks the vegetables. Cooks food. A, a chef cuts vegetables. Okay, and that's how you are going to do it. You have to write activities that you do in your job, at least three or four. Al menos tres o cuatro actividades que hacen en su trabajo. In third person. ¿Cómo se pronuncia informe? Reports. Reports. Okay. Here, I will write it for you. How do you write? Reports. Esos son los reportes o los informes. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Eh, perdón, perdón. <laughs> Preparar menús. Ah, I prepare the menu. Prepare. Prepare. Prepare the menu. The menu. Prepare. And that's a good question. Teacher, how can I say? Teacher, how can I say? And then you give me the question. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. Si tienen preguntas, sing ten. ¿Cómo se dice? What do you say, consejería, teacher? Okay, advisory. I am going to write it for you. Ahorita se lo escribo. I am going to move this piece, okay? And I am going to write it here. Ahorita se lo escribo. Provide advisory. Provides advisory, consejería. Any other question? What do you do in your job? Give me sentences about the things that you do. Oh. Mayerly, Alejandra, what are some things that you do in your job? Okay, check reports and documents. Okay. You check reports and documents, what else? Uh, organize the store. Okay. Organizes the store. What else? Y el verbo planear. Plan. Plans. Ah, okay. 
plans, activities, and events. And what is your profession? What is your profession? Uh -huh. I, oh, I don't, I can not listen to you. Business uh -huh. administration. You are a business administrator, right? You are a business administrator. So I can say that a business administrator checks reports, organizes the store and plans activities and events. So that's what a business administrator does. Those are the activities for a business administrator. I need another example, another profession. Let's see, uh, Reina, what is your profession? I am a uh, um, housewife. Yeah, okay, you are a housewife. Oh my God. Yes. What are all the things that you do? Uh, cook, watch. Okay. Cooks, washes. What drop else? the kids of the school. I drop the kids yes. at school. Um, uh -huh. and... Lavar, cocinar, planchar. <laughs> Irons the clothes, right? Irons the clothes. I don't the clothes, right? I yes. think four, four are okay, right? Cuatro de las mil okay. que hace. She yes. cooks, she washes the, the laundry, the dishes, everything. She drops the kids at school. She irons the clothes. She takes care of the house. She takes care of the dog, everything, right? Yeah. That's what a housewife does. So as you can see here, I gave you different examples of activities that people do at the different jobs. So for example, here you can say, ah, a housewife. A housewife cooks lunch, cooks breakfast. A housewife washes the dishes. A housewife drops the kids at school. A housewife irons the clothes, right? And those are all the things that a housewife does. So. That's the example that we have here on the book. I am going to go back to my presentation here. Por aquí tengo mi presentación. And it says like, eh, different professions. Give me one profession that wears a uniform. One profession that wears a uniform. Nurse. A nurse. So you say a nurse wears a uniform. Give me one profession that stands all day. Que esté parado todo el día. A security guard. A security guard stands all day. A profession that sits all day. A secretary. The secretary, right? The secretary sits all day. Tiene que estar todo el día sentada, right? Sits all day. Give me a profession that handles money. A cashier. A cashier, right? You give me a profession that talks to people. The teacher. <laughs> the teacher, the cashier, the receptionist, the salesperson, the call center agent. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Thanks for talking to teacher Nati. How can I help you? <laughs> a, a profession that works at night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor, the chef, the nurse, the doctor, the chef, the nurse, the teacher, the, <laughs> the security guard, the pilot, the housewife, the housewife, <laughs> the flight attendant, right? <laughs> and many other professions that we are not going to mention, right? <laughs> many other. A profession that works hard. A profession that works hard. A housewife. A housewife. Yeah, Definitely. Albanian teacher. Oh, those are called masons. The mason. Mason. The mason. Yes, those are. That's that's an admirable profession. I do admire them. Definitely, the masons or the builders. Oh my God, I really admire them. Right, los constructores. 
I admire them. Definitely. And the firemen. I, I also admire this one. Definitely. Los bomberos son otros mi respeto. I do admire them because they, it's, it's a very hard profession. And a profession that writes tickets. Cashier. The cashier. The police officer. <laughs> they write... <laughs> <laughs> they write tickets. Yes, they write tickets, definitely. Well, so based on this one, we are going to practice a little bit of this tomorrow, right? Here you have a little conversation that is on the book, right? Esa conversación está en su manual. Así que porfa, practiquémosla para el día de mañana. La pueden encontrar en su manual. Así en, le voy a mostrar la paginita. La pueden encontrar. Let me check. Okay. I am going to go here. Okay, it's right here. It's on the manual, right? You can find it here on the manual. And here you have the exercise that I did with you. And the conversation is on page number 16. Esta página 16 de su manual. Okay. So we're going to practice that one for tomorrow. Esa la vamos a practicar para el día de mañana. So please, people, remember important things. Enviemos la documentación para la reinscripción. Eh, si no hemos enviado lo del manual, enviémoslo. Y porfa, para que todos estemos en paz ahí con todos okay. nuestros documentos. Have a wonderful night. Nubia puede ver la clase eh, completa en la playlist de YouTube. Igual le voy a compartir el link por si quieren repasar algo de la clase. Okay. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Thank you. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good Bye. Night. Night. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, sweetie.